What's a horrifying fact a person could have lived happily not knowing? Story 1. Because of the cellular makeup of our eyes, we see better in low contrast light in the periphery of our vision. The way the cells work means they have a much lower activation, so in the dark or between very minute monochromatic differences, you'll see better out of the corner of your eye than your central vision, which is more geared to complexity and color. So with that in mind, theoretically if there was something you could make out in the corner of your eye but not visible when you look directly at it, it could really be there. Whilst this is true, please be sensible with this knowledge and remember our brains are hardwired to freak us out and pad out our senses. The vast majority of weird creepy things we see, hear, or feel are partially made up by our brains, and the things which aren't are nihilistically uninterested in us. Turns out being paranoid was so advantageous to our rock-wielding ancestors that it just kept breeding true, no matter how well we climb the food chain. I mean, it has no real detriment. We occasionally look stupid because that hanging jacket in the corner of the room looks shady. Better be afraid of a jacket than not aware of a predator. Story 2. There are some diseases caused by prions, a type of infectious protein for which there is no known cure. Prions accumulate in your brain and damage your nerve cells irreversibly, leading to seizures, loss of memory and speech, blindness, changes in personality, and loss of mobility. They kill off brain cells and create literal holes in your brain. Once symptoms start showing, most people perish within a year. Some people are believed to have been infected by eating infected meat. It can be spread by surgical tools. The tool was sterilized between patients, but the process isn't enough to remove prions. If someone has a prion disease, we use disposable tools on them, if we know. Since the disease takes a while to reach critical mass, we could be spreading the prions from one person to the next via re-sterilized tools until the first patient perishes and we think to check and inform others they might be infected. But there is no known cure anyway, so you just need to wait and see. Life pro tip, don't eat human brains. Just don't. Story 3. Male otters are extremely sensually violent and aggressive. A significant number of female otters, otter pups, and baby seals, yes, baby seals, have their lives ended from the trauma caused by often forced sensual encounters with male otters. Causes include, but are not limited to, drowning, internal perforation, and biting. Dolphins can also be pretty awful. They've been observed to participate in gang grape of female dolphins and, again, seals. Poor seals. They're like the unconsenting living fleshlights of the ocean. Living fleshlights of the ocean? I feel like this was originally the jellyfish until it got sick of that stuff and became poisonous and electric. Said to himself, Stick your dong in me now, witch. Do it. It would be worth it just to see you do it. Jellyfish, probably. Story 4. In the 60s, there was an experiment to attempt to teach dolphins to comprehend English, even going as far as to attempt to teach it to speak English itself. The experiment went south when one of the people working on the experiment, Margaret Howe Lovett, started to have intimate relations with a dolphin named Peter, something she claims the dolphin initiated. At the same time of this, one of the other people involved, neurologist John C. Lilly, was given the go-ahead to start experimenting with LSD, and so decided to also use LSD on the dolphin. Due to a gigantic cut in funding, they were forced to move, and the dolphin was kept in horrible conditions, and taken away from his trainer-slash-sleeping buddy, Margaret, and so committed seppuku by drowning itself. Whoa, you're making it sound really weird. She was just jerking the dolphin off, not getting boned by him. Story 5. At all times, we could be surrounded by fourth-dimensional beings, but we just can't see or detect them in any way because we live in the third dimension. They could be observing and studying us at this very moment. And perhaps the reason why we haven't found any aliens yet is because they are fourth-dimensional beings. Studying us. The ape is touching himself. Again. The only difference between us and fourth-dimensional beings is they can move freely across space and time, while we are limited to a particular location in relation to where we were previously and a particular time now. Essentially, they would look like teleporting time travelers. We could still see them. Past the fourth, though, you're right. We wouldn't be able to because they would be in a different universe entirely. Story 6. Quite a lot of people who try to end their lives by jumping in front of a subway survive. Well, that makes sense considering you can't be run over by a sandwich shop. 
I had a job in a subway station in January. I spent two months there. Every three days, someone jumps in front of the subway train. In two months, only one guy perished on the spot. Thing is, when you stop a subway line, you get a ticket for each minute you prevent the line from moving. So the sepicoodle guy will get hit with a ticket of subway train repair and cost, first responder cost, firefighter, police, subway special team, and a hefty stoppage ticket. Twas crazy to see and hear the screams of people witnessing. Story 7. This was told to me by a relative that works as a funeral director. Some parts of your body might start decaying a few days before you perish. I can definitely confirm. I'm a hospice nurse, and I also did end-of-life care with geriatric patients for many years. You always recognize the smell, and it never changes. I may be misremembering here, but is it usually feet first? I briefly worked in a nursing home and was part of caring for a guy who was on his way out. His toes first went black, then his feet, then he ended his life. Someone mentioned the scent of the end of life, and I will never, ever forget that smell. Story 8. Rabies. Remember to go to the ER if you're bitten by any wild animal that can potentially carry it. Rabies is very nearly the worst way to go, and that's considering having your life ended by starvation, fire, drowning, or jumping from an airplane. You go into delirium and a deep fear of water, and slowly perish of lack of water as the virus bursts into your brain. Best case scenario, Milwaukee procedure, you end up brain dead. I would personally shoot myself if I was diagnosed with it. Point is, bats are particularly likely to pass it on. The post-exposure treatment is highly effective, but it only works before the virus reaches your brain. Story 9. There could be a gamma ray burst coming for us, and we wouldn't know until we all got literally obliterated from existence. Also, the universe is so large that not a single thing that anyone does will matter. Not a thing. Most people who disagreed with me are technically correct. This is one of those mostly correct discussions. The universe is so large that not a single thing that anyone does will matter. Not a thing. Nonsense. I just baked a delicious cake. I find that comforting. Story 10. Hundreds of toddlers in the U.S. have their lives ended every year from falling into septic pits and drowning. When I was five, we used to go over to my mom's friend's house, and there were these massive rednecks in this old house where the septic was broken and would run across the yard like a small creek between these two cement things with holes in the top. Anyway, her oldest daughter was about eight and dropped her homework paper in it. I reached to grab it and fell right in. I have a full memory of it. The hosing off and everything. Must be a crappy memory. Story 11. When a brown recluse spider bites you, your skin will often start to rot around the bite. This is only in very, very rare cases, and often with immunocompromised patients. Also, many pictures you see online are actually staph infections. The side effect of most bites is simply a hard welt that doesn't appear to heal well for weeks where the skin necrotized. Anything worse, and you can go get a shot from the walk-in to cure it. Most people in the southern U.S. have been bitten by a brown recluse at least once and don't even know it. Story 12. Diamond dust is a horrifying poison. When ingested, your body is unable to round off the sharp edges like it can with glass. It will cling to your insides. The muscle movements of your guts will scrape your insides. The dust particles will get pushed deeper and deeper until you end your life of internal bleeding. It takes months to perish from this, and you will be in immense pain. Once inside of you, there's nothing that can be done anymore. Please, someone prove me wrong. I would gladly accept this as just being a myth. Story 13. Chick culling is the process of ending the lives of newly hatched chicks for which the intensive animal farming industry has no use. It occurs in all industrialized egg production, whether free-range, organic, or battery cage, including that of the UK and US. Because male chickens do not lay eggs, and only those on breeding programs are required to fertilize eggs, they are considered redundant to the egg-laying industries, and are usually called shortly after being gendered, which occurs after they hatch. Many methods of culling do not involve anesthetics, and include cervical dislocation, asphyxiation by carbon dioxide, and maceration using a high-speed grinder. Asphyxiation is the primary method in the United Kingdom, while maceration is the primary method in the United States. By 2020, U.S. producers expect to gender the eggs before they hatch, so male eggs can be culled. Story 14. So, people might not get as freaked out thinking about space as I do, 
But I found out yesterday that there are sounds in space, but we can't hear them because it's a vacuum. I googled space noises, and there was like this vibrating sound that was apparently from the sun, and it freaked me out. Too long didn't read? There are sounds in space. We just can't hear them. NASA recorded them. Story 15. Taste buds in our intestines. We have them. Why do I not taste anything? You sure you don't and haven't just gotten used to tasting your own crap? But I don't know. Kind of curious, but haven't gotten around to investigating whether the feedback is processed in the same ways and location in the brain as taste as we know it. Also, apparently, it's testing sugar content, so not a full flavor profile. Please like and subscribe if you've made it this far. I hope you'll enjoy the rest of this video and have a wonderful day. Story 16. When you go swimming in a lake or any untreated body of fresh water that does not have steady water flow, there's a small chance you will inhale an amoeba that will subsequently eat your brain and you will almost certainly perish within a week. I mean, you're hundreds of times more likely to simply drown in that lake. Oh, thank God. Story 17. When you pick up a severed head, always be sure to use two hands. This is because the weight of said head isn't perfectly distributed like it is with a bowling ball and therefore has a tendency to topple from one's hands if not handled correctly. What do you mean, when? I'm a little drunk and this made me laugh so hand. Story 18. Despite being adorable, sea otters can be little monsters. They will grape baby seals, the male sea otters will hold baby otters as hostage to get food, and apparently they will sometimes commit necrophilia. I was so mad when someone told me this. I was fine believing they were cute little creatures who would just float around on their backs and collect rocks. Story 19. When Tarsiers, one of the smallest primates, gets too stressed, they commit seppuku by repeatedly banging their head against a tree. Today I learned I'm a very big Tarsier. 500 upvotes because I identify as a tiny monkey that looks like it drank 67 liters of espresso. Yep, this one I knew from a friend. That stuff is sad. Story 20. Rather than impregnating female bedbugs by more traditional roots, a male bedbug will puncture the abdomen of the female bedbug with their dongs. But how do they know they're puncturing a female and not a male? They don't. They often puncture and inseminate a male bedbug's abdomen. If he can't find a hole, make one. Improvise, adapt. Story 21. Due to how your perception of time changes as you age, assuming you live a long life and for old age, you've lived half your perceived lifespan by 25. This is actually the comment that has made me the most uneasy. Wait, what? Please explain more. I may have just missed half my life. Story 22. Female spotted hyenas grow a pseudo-wiener, which is just a giant clematis which they use to assert dominance, dog style. When the time comes to give birth, their birth canal goes through that giant clematis because God is a hateful mustard. Imagine giving birth through a wiener. Imagine giving birth through a clematis. Story 23. You could have an aneurysm in your brain right now waiting to explode and you'd never know. Your aorta can do the same thing if it's enlarged. In 90% plus of cases, the first sign of an enlarged aorta is that it ruptures and you perish almost immediately. So, what's the second sign? Story 24. There is a biological weapon that consists in a virus that, if released, would utterly end the lives of the entire human population, and presumably a ridiculously high percentage of all the living things on Earth. This massacre is just a slight mistake away from happening. <laughs> I knew that already. I played Plague, Inc. Story 25. If you are deceased in the house and no one is around to feed your pets, they start with your squishy parts, lips, eyes, ears, and nose. That's comforting that they won't starve. I feel the same way. This would be my final act of service for my pets. Story 26. Dogs like squeaky toys because they mimic the dying cries of their prey. Does the same reasoning apply to children as well? Yes, I've ran the test with my kids, and it would seem that they actually prefer the screaming of the rats they're consuming more than the toys. Story 27. There are billions of people in the world, meaning that there are people who you won't even know exist. They will live their own independent lives without ever seeing or hearing about you, and you will live without ever knowing of their existence. Story 28. You are about 120 times more likely to have your life ended by an immediate family member if you win the lottery. 
So if I win the lottery, I'll just have to end the lives of all my immediate family then, starting with myself. <laughs> I'm a little drunk, and this made me laugh so hard. Story 29. There's a type of frog that can squirt blood from its eyes. I read that there's also one that will break its bones and force them through its skin so it has claws to fight off predators. That sounds infinitely worse than the blood thing. Story 30. Some animals, notably Tasmanian devils, have a cancer that can spread between the species through bodily fluid contact. Imagine that in humans. Cancer caused by HPV is just a step away from that in humans. Story 31. Squirrels sometimes feed off of animal carcasses. Most animals will eat other animals. You can find videos of herbivores eating meat all over the internet. Like the video of a cow just swooping a baby chick in a single swoop, freaking hardcore. Story 32. There's a small parasitic fish called the kandiru that can swim up your wiener and latch on to eat it from the inside. Eating part is unconfirmed. It lives in the Amazon. It lives in the Amazon? Which fulfillment center? Story 33. At some point in your life, your parents picked you up, gave you a hug, and set you down, never to pick you up again. That's why you should work out, so you can lift your kids at any age. Story 34. Over 80 million types of bacteria can be exchanged in one kiss. At least I don't have to worry about that happening to me. Small brain, kiss me. Big brain, exchange 80 million types of bacteria with me, baby. Story 35. Statistically speaking, somebody you know personally and interact with on a daily basis is a pedophile. Story 36. The USSR and the United States were the only two countries allowed to have smallpox samples. But after the USSR fell, it's entirely possible that samples were lost. No American born after 1972 is vaccinated for it. Story 37. There are billions of small mites, bacterias, and dead cells on each inch of your skin, and you can't do anything to remove them. They'll always be there, just living their lives. They eat dead skin, bacterias, etc. Story 38. 92% of koalas have marsupial syphilis that humans can contract via koala urine. I'll tell you, I have been working so hard to get that percentage up to 93, but I can only do it with so many koalas. Story 39. If you're exposed to rabies, you will have absolutely no symptoms for months, potentially. As soon as you start showing symptoms, you are going to perish. There is nothing that can be done for you. Story 40. Demodex folliculorum is a tiny, tiny insect that feeds on dead skin cells and oil. You probably have a couple dozen living in and on your eyelashes right now. Gotta keep my homies well fed. Story 41. Humanity is constantly on the edge of being wiped out. Whether it be from nukes or from the Yellowstone supervolcano, it could happen at any moment and there'd be nothing anybody can do about it. Story 42. That a toothbrush left uncovered or not in a cabinet can accrue as many germs as a toilet and a flush toilet with the lid up releases germs into the air up to 15 feet. Story 43. Eyelash mites are real, and it's highly likely that you're hosting a colony of them right now. If so, they are covered with mascara. You must be a pretty security guy. Story 44. In a similar thread posted some months ago, someone brought up the fact that the government has pre-recorded broadcasts in cases of emergencies, including what to do if aliens attack. Story 45. When a Brazilian wandering spider bites a male, it can deliver long, painful erections lasting hours on end. I know they're deadly, but yes, this can happen before death. Story 46. If someone falls from a building tall enough, then when they hit the ground, their bones will crack and break under their weight, and their organs will explode. Story 47. The sun could have exploded five minutes ago, and we wouldn't know until three minutes' time. It's been nearly an hour now. You're wrong. Yeah, he's totally wrong. Story 48. Burning to the end of life doesn't hurt as bad as you think. You feel it at first, but then your nerves burn off and you don't feel anything. Story 49. When you and your wife are white, but your son looks Mexican, and your wife goes to a Native American healer on the reg. Story 50. The government has been actively attempting to undermine the encryption that secures our entire internet infrastructure since 2001, so they can catch pedos. Story 51. 
There is no certainty that the universe will not end in the next 10 seconds. $1,000 says it doesn't. $1,000? That sounds like uncertainty. Story 52. If you stay long enough in water, plus 10 days without getting out, your flesh will soften and eventually detach piece by piece. Story 53. A full-grown raccoon can fit inside your butt. I know it can. What about yours? And who discovered this? Story 54. Warning, do not read this thread if you have weird paranoias and anxieties to begin with. Too late, send help. Story 55. Romberg's disease can cause all tissues of half your face to spontaneously shrink. This includes bone. Etiology unknown. Story 56. Every 60 seconds in Africa, a minute passes. Together, we can stop this. Please, spread the word. Story 57. A shark's hoo-ha and bum hole are in the same hole. As are all birds. Reptiles, too, I believe. Story 58. You might have been born in a sea of semi-liquid diarrhea. Seems like I never left. Story 59. The youngest person on record to ever give birth was five years old. Story 60. Brain matter smells sweet. Can confirm. Smells like rotting fruit. Wait, seriously? Story 61. Watching one man one jar and knowing that someone really did it. Story 62. Girls poop. This is factually incorrect. Not pretty girls. Story 63. That I poop in the trash can. Please leave your stories in the comments. I'd love to make a video of them in the future. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe.